a times I tell folks that no matter how you got emotional against a door that refuses to open, your tears, no matter how it is on your face, can never open door. To access an open door, you must have a functional key. So open doors is a function of a revelational key that you have so you can be able, and most of times I tell people, God is not an emotional God. It's a knowledge different God. In fact, the Bible said that God is a God of knowledge and by it, he weighs all things. So if we're going to connect with God and walk in seamless overflows, enjoying the dividends of 2024, you better listen to me. Deep intimacy and consecration to God. Now hear this. The prize for all of God is all of you. The prize for all of God is all of you. Intimacy is knowing God in a deep, inspiration and accurate dimension so that you can be able to maximize all that Christ has offered to us. Intimacy is koinonia, intimacy is fellowship. If you are going to reign like Lord Manor in 2024, you are going to be a master of the art of intimacy alongside consecration to God. The word consecration means anointed and set apart anointed and set apart. Lift up your hand and say, I'm anointed. I am set apart. Psalm 91 verse 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of almighty. The secret of abounding life is abiding life. The secret of abounding life is abiding life. If you want to abound in life in 2024, then you must learn the art of abiding. John chapter 15 and verse 5 said, But without me, you can do nothing. So you need to abide and connect spiritual substance that can sustain your relevance on earth even as you sow. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18, Paul speaking and he said, but we all beholding us in the mirror, the glory of the Lord, we are then being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. It's important. Then, I love what brother Timothy said in Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 20. Second Timothy chapter 2, talking about consecration talking about cleaning, talking about being purity conscious, talking about working on your innermost conscience so that the spirit of glory shall rest upon you. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Can I hear you say amen? If a man therefore purge himself from these he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and made for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. 22, I love that. Let's look at it. Flee also, flee also youthful laws, but follow righteousness. What that scripture is talking about, to host God experientially, to host God in accuracy, then two things are needed as one intimacy with him, daily fellowship with him, and then your, your human tabernacle must be born in purity, must be born in righteousness. I like what brother Joseph said in, in, in Genesis 39 verse 9. He said, how can I commit this sin and do this great wickedness against God? And I inferred from that postulation that sin is great wickedness against God. So he that commits sin is committing great wickedness against God. Can I hear you shout, I am anointed. Lift up your hands, make that declaration. say, I am anointed. I am separated. 2024 is a year you must be focused on your pursuit. You must be focused on your vision. You must be focused on your mandate. You must be focused on your assignment. The book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 22 said, if your light be single, then your body shall be full. If your eye be single, then your body shall be full of light. 
one of the ways to cure destiny, to cure destiny distraction is by being absolutely focused. Now you need to design what is it that God is bringing me into. As we enter into new year, God brings us into new seasons, new possibilities, new abilities, new networks. Now, being a wise person, you must be able to say, Lord, what is it that I need to be able to maximize and profit from this new season? I, I pray for somebody here. 2024 will bring you to a new season. I hear your amen. God will make sure that it happens over your life. I say, God is bringing you into strategic opportunities. If you stand up and say, Amen, grace will be multiplied over your life. So you need absolute focus. Don't be that man in Kings. He said, When I was moving here and there, then the guy went on a wall. For you shall not be a person of here and there. Discover what God has called you to do. Set your eyes on it and give it your best shot. Give it your best shot. Give it your best shot. Make sure that you develop in the area of your core competence. Make sure you develop skills that is needed in the area of your requirement. You see, people will not clap you two times. When you do something that is exceedingly great, they will applaud you. If you repeat it, you find that the applause will have gone. That means you must be on the threshold of continuous reinvention. Continuous reinvention. You need to keep rediscovering yourself. You need to be, you need to keep deepening the wells of your finance. You need to be the best at what you do. I pray for you today. You will not lose your focus.